On today's Daily Health, there's a promising new weight loss drug that's getting a lot of attention, and not just because of its test results. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about this one. If it's approved by the FDA, the medication could become the best-selling drug, get this, of all time. But there's growing concern over who will actually be able to afford it. It's pretty expensive. Joining us now is NBC News medical contributor Dr. Uche Blackstock. Dr. Blackstock, great to see you. Happy New Year. First of all, if you could explain to our viewers, what is this new weight loss drug, and how does it work, and how do people use it? A happy New Year, Tom and Kate. Thank you for having me. So this new drug is actually similar to two other drugs already on the market. Essentially, it suppresses the hunger hormone, so it makes people less hungry. But this one in particular also changes how the body metabolizes sugar and fat. And the study showed that people on it lost about 20% of their body weight, and that was sustained weight loss. That, that's a lot, yeah. 22%. Uh, so drug maker Eli Lilly is behind this particular drug, right? And still waiting on FDA approval, but do we have any sense for how much it could cost? And, and are weight loss drugs even covered yeah. by insurance? Right, so the other two medications that are similar um, are not always covered by private insurance. They're definitely not covered by Medicare. Um, some Medicaid plans may cover it. It's about 1000 to $2,000 a month. So it's very, very pricey if a patient has to pay out of pocket. So the concern is the average American with obesity that needs this medication wouldn't be able to access it if their insurance doesn't cover it. And it would only be available to those who are very rich. The problem is that insurance companies don't think of obesity as an illness or a medical problem. We have to change the way they think about it, that it's not just about cosmetics, but about health as well. Yeah, 1100 a month. That's so expensive. Yeah. Dr. Uche, real quick before you go, we have to ask any dangers to this drug, any side effects? So actually, these drugs, not only being effective, but they also are pretty safe. Um, you know, some of the common side effects are mostly gastrointestinal, nausea, some vomiting and diarrhea, but otherwise they are very well tolerated by people who take them. And do they know about the long term here? I mean, have they been able, you know, I don't know how long they've been studying this drug. Do they know what would happen over time? Would you regain the weight or does it stay off? Well, so far they've looked at patients for a few years and they've been able to keep off the weight, which is a great thing and one of the reasons why it will likely be approved by the FDA next year. All right, Dr. Uche Blackstock, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.